Hey, what's up, guys? You've probably been hearing a lot of things about EA lately, and the number one complaint is the online pass. And what that means for those of you that buy games used, especially games like Battlefield Bad Company 2 or Battlefield 3, is that when you put in the game, it's you expect it to work like a normal game and everything, but when you try to get on the multiplayer, you realize, oh, I cannot access any of the online features or be able to play the multiplayer. And in order to do that, you have to pay a fee. And sometimes that ends up making you spend just as much money as you could have on a new copy of the game. And that has upset a lot of people. But EA has came out and said that they are going to stop from here on forward to make you have to pay an online fee or have an online pass in order to just be able to play the game online. So I gotta say that's great right off the bat and EA while you're doing that another thing you should do for at least PC gamers is that you should make it to where Battlefield 4 you won't have to go into an internet browser just to be able to browse through the servers and be able to get into an online lobby and every time you leave a lobby it leaves the entire game itself and you have to open up the internet browser again and then you have to search for another one that is very annoying it doesn't even work for 64-bit versions of browsers but they should definitely fix that problem with Battlefield 4 because I definitely do not like having to do that every single time I want to play Battlefield 3 this next thing is going to upset a lot of people from a lot of different ways, and right off the bat I'm going to say, this is from the company that you would least expect it. I mean, after you see something that good happens with EA, you see something like this, and it just really upsets a lot of people, especially the really good real fans that have been with them for so long, and that is Nintendo. You've probably seen a lot of Let's Plays all over the internet for all platforms, but now it looks like for anybody that does Let's Plays, for Nintendo related games are very likely going to stop. And the reason for that is because Nintendo has decided that they are going to be collecting 100% revenue that is made off of the ads there alongside of the video, and they're going to be getting it for any Let's Play that includes a Nintendo related game. So very likely Let's Plays are going to kind of slow down quite a bit, especially for Nintendo related games. And I gotta say, even if you look at this from a business perspective, there's nothing they're gaining. Because even if they do make money off of that, people are going to stop making Let's Plays. And, look at it this way, look at what happened uh, after PewDiePie made his videos about Slenderman. A lot more people started playing Slender, a lot more people. And, and when people see Let's Plays, they watch it because they want to enjoy the content. And when they get interested in the game, or they really like it, or they just want to know what they're playing, they very often end up actually buying the game. And that helps the company make more money. And look at this. PewDiePie's not getting any money from those companies, but in a way he's kind of giving them free advertisement. And because of that, these companies sell a lot more copies of games. And Nintendo, this is a really stupid move, and I at least expected it from you. Of all companies, I at least expected it from Nintendo, because I've looked at Nintendo as that third company that's different from the other main two that are just bickering back and forth. That one third company that has something different, and they usually have qualities that stand out. They have always just been there. They don't change rapidly or too much. They stay the same and maintain good qualities about them. Well, that's it for the end of this week. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you have anything you would like to say or just get off your chest that involves, you know, these companies kind of switching sides, things that you, I guess you could give your perspective of Nintendo. What do you think about this as a Nintendo fan? And what do you think about EA? Do you think they're going to have another trick up their sleeve? Do you think they're actually going to be doing things better? I mean, after all, you know, since that one guy's out of there and someone else took his place, things should be getting better now. And hopefully things do get better and there's not any tricks. And Nintendo, again, I hope you don't continue to go down this path. But I want to hear what you guys think. I mean, just really overall. And this is the kind of feedback that they should be hearing to really know the truth and really get a good idea of the community and what everyone overall thinks. So thanks again for watching guys, and I hope to see you guys in the next video.